That's why. Now, I want to go to your Juilliard because, I mean, that's something that I, I never knew. And I, I, I'm a strong believer in rejection is God's protection. Um, sure it is. And, and everything happens for a reason. When you didn't get into Ju- one, how did what did you feel? How did you feel about your audition for Juilliard? Did you feel like mm. it went good or, or did you feel like I understand why they didn't select me? A bit of both, right? Like, I'll never forget one of my homeboys that actually got into school, my homeboy, Correll Williams. This dude is like this out of control dancer. Like, you know, some of these cats are like, they got, they can put their feet up to their face. You know what I mean? They got right. natural, what we call natural facility. Like, you know, I got a good body and all that, but I'm not, I wasn't the most flexible. I didn't do the most turns. I, I wasn't the best technician. Um, kind of like that. And I remember I picked him up from Miami. Uh, he came in from Miami. I drove him from the airport. He stayed with me that night. He t- I took him to the audition with me. And I remember being at the ballet bar with him doing for that audition. And he was right behind me. And his leg would be so much higher than mine. And his feet pointed so much more. And he, like, he was just like a better, I don't want to say better dancer, but when it came to like the ballet shapes, that's the thing about dance. It's not just about like literally in a club. It's like, okay, how cool you dance, your groove. But when it comes to classical training, it's like you got to have the perfect body, perfect bone structure, all that kind of stuff. And he, had, he, I remember he had that, and I was like, dang, this cat's bomb, and I look crazy in front of him. Um, but I still did well, and after that, they called me back. They're like, we want you to come in here and do a solo. I remember I did this solo, um, and I danced my heart out for that solo. Um, but at the end of it, I remember other people going in there. I just I don't think I prepared myself enough either, right? Um, because I choreographed my own solo. I was like, no, I don't want nobody to choreograph for me. And everybody else is coming in there with, like, professionally trained choreographers choreographing a solo for them. Oh, um, okay. So I just thought I was going to get in there off of kind of passion and all that kind of stuff alone versus, like, no, you need to know the technique. You got to be better at your craft. You know what I mean? That, that kind of stuff. Uh, so, you know, I think for that audition, I, I poured my heart into it, and I definitely did well. Um, but for what Juilliard's standards were, I was subpar, I think. And they weren't going to just take me in just because, oh, he's a great mover. And he has sufficient enough technique that we can train him. Uh, so that was the difference between Ailey and Juilliard for me back in the day. Juilliard, they, I think, sometimes were taking kids that didn't need as much training because they were already like, to a sufficient level of, like, ballet and classical sort of training. They were like, oh, now we're just going to work, work with these high-end choreographers and teach you how to move and, in these European ways. Um, Ailey was like, no, nah, we're going to train you. And we're going to make sure you look good. We're going to make sure your lines are clean. You're going to come in here as, like... <laughs> the army up in that thing, like how hard we were training and working to facilitate our bodies. Wow. That's amazing, bro. So yeah. I know you was at Alvin <laughs> Ellie. So when I first moved, because we graduated at the same time, and, and anybody that don't yeah. know, I, I won most humorous. He won most talented. Like that's, yep. <laughs> that's what, that's how we, that's how we graduated. Gibbs high. And See, superlatives. I, yes, sir. Yeah. Straight up. So I moved to LA. He moved to New York. He came to come stay with me. I remember you stayed with me for a few weeks out of L.A. Yeah. This is what I realized. Um, I always knew Efren was a phenomenal dancer, but this is what I really knew that God had a blessing on you, bro, is he was out there for a week and booked a movie. <laughs> like, <laughs> like your first week in L.A. Yeah. staying with me. Uh, and it was a movie yeah. called Dance Flick, uh, which was a Wayne's type film. Um, you remember that? What did you think when you booked that 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 part in that movie? Man, it was half of it. Like, I'll be honest with you, half of it was completely like out of my out of this world, unbelievable. I can't believe I'm in L.A. for the first time, had my first audition in literally in Hollywood at the studio with all these phenomenal dancers, and uh, book a film like where I got to you know what I mean? Like I did a scene that's about like, remaking fame, uh, the Fame movie or whatever like that, and um. I do remember this though. I had always been told that like a lot of the people in LA are more hip hop based. Or they're, you know, they, they're more commercial dancers. So I knew to audition, even though I did hip hop too and I wanted to be in that part of the movie as well, for me, I could get into, I, I could get ahead in LA because I was more of a trained technician, trained like classical, okay. trained jazz, trained modern. And so for the part I got in the film, they look for like jazz dancers. So a lot of the cats that were doing all the crazy hip hop that I couldn't really do yet or wasn't as good yet. I could get them with the turns and like, you know, these kind of ballet tricks and jumps and jazz stuff. So that's right. how I broke down that, that wall. I was like, I'm gonna find another way in this door. But yeah, man, I still shooting that thing. That's my first time shooting a film at all. You know what I'm saying? And being on Universal lot, like, man, it, it blew my mind, bro. I, I, I never would have thought. And that's how I got my agent for the first time. 
it was just a crazy experience. So I've always, yo, I never, I will always appreciate you for letting me stay on your couch. This bro let me stay on there for two whole weeks, a whole grown ass nigga on the couch, <laughs> eating up the food. But yo, you didn't give me no problem. You know what I'm saying? You wasn't tight about it. You like did that out of the goodness of your heart. And I'll, I'll never forget that. Hey, no doubt, bro, man. That's what we here for. So.